everyone. Today I am going to tell you all about penguins. It says the word penguin here. So I did this project and I decided to glue, 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 glue everything and even readings. So first we're going to go with this continent. So you see, this is the emperor, and this is the king. This is the Gen 2, yellow-eyed one, and the near furry one. There's so many species of them, but usually there's 18, it says here. All 18 species of penguins live in the southern hemisphere. So, all of the penguins live in the southern hemisphere. You cannot find it, find it on the northern hemisphere. So, so let's see about the particular behavior. All birds actually have a corneal and they end their like humans because they don't just go like this. They stand up like humans. So you see, there are like thousands of trillions of penguins here. Do you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, a lot of thousands? I mean, like there's thousands of them. Back to this. So they swim and they and they feed in groups, but some may be solitary. Solitary when diving for food. And emperor penguins have been observed feeding in groups with coordinated diving. So, to, so now we are going to talk about food. So it says it right here. So penguins eat krill like shrimp and crustacean and squid and fishes. So various species of penguins have slightly different food preference. So they eat krill and squids. And also they eat fish. Do you see that fish right there? That pink thing right there? Because it also has a long spinny tongue. So now we're gonna talk about the role of habitat. Penguins do far more than make us smile. However, they also play important roles in ecosystems, both in the ocean and on land. Penguins, adults, young, and eggs serve as food for predators such as leopard seals and seabirds in cold areas along with foxes, leopards, and even crabs in warmer climates. Predators. When in the water, penguins may be eaten by leopard seals, fur seals, sea lions, sharks, or killer whales. On land, fox snakes in and introduce predators such as feral dogs, cats, and stoats, members of the weasel family, prey on eggs and chicks of the, some penguin species, including the yellow-eyed and Galapagos penguins. Now we are going to talk about the specifical characteristics. So, let's see the size. The emperor penguin is the largest of all living penguins, standing to 1.1 m, meaning three tall and can weigh more than it's 41 kilograms. The smallest of the penguins in the little penguins, standing just 41 to 45 cm and weigh, weigh, weighing about one kilograms. The body shape. 
The penguin's body is adapted for swimming. Its body is fusiform, me, fusiform and streamlined. Streamlined. A penguin has a large head, short neck, and elonged body. The tail is short and short, stiff, stiff, and wedge shape. The legs and webbed feet are set far back on the body, which gives penguins their upright post, poster on land. So do you see this, this penguin? It's a different kind of penguin species. It's glowing because the inside is actually glowing. Can you see that? I can see this thing. And there's also a little another penguin that has a, a long neck and long beak. Do you see that? Okay, well now let's go back to talking about the head. Different species of penguins can be identified by their head and facial markings. Penguins have a variety of bill shape. So the head is like this shape. And sometimes the head is kind of like this. Other kinds of species. Even the head, even this is the normal head at the US. And short beak and, and like wings. But they don't use it for flying. They use it for swimming. They glide. And then when they want to eat, eat something, they whoosh and then come. They eat trip. They just swat, they just eat, just swallow it while they're swimming, like whoosh, like an airplane. Not even, not even the crew can see that. So, let's talk about the feathers. See, that's a lot of feathers. Three feathers. Penguin feathers. Feathers. Shiny feathers uniformly overlap to cover a penguin's skin. So, it protects the, the penguin's skin so when they go under, when they go in the water, they wash their feathers. But it also protects the skin. Okay, let's go to the legs and feet. Penguins' legs are short and strong, and sometimes they're webbed. With visual claws, the legs are set far back on the body to aid in streamlining and steering while swimming. This placement also causes penguins to stand vertically and walk upright. Like I told you, they don't look go like this. They stand up like penguins, like humans. But they just don't walk like this. They walk like this. Walk, 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 walk. Walk. Now let's talk about the legs and feet. Oh, we already talked about that, but now, life cycle time. So this is called life cycles. Long activity. The average life expectancy of penguins is probably 15 to 20 years. Some individuals live constantly longer. Just imagine you were like, a human, but you lived until you were 165 years old. Easy. But that's impossible. Who would just have a birthday like that? No way, that's bad. It's just like imagination or story or something. So uh, let's read this. High movie, of course, among the young. Now let's talk about the High mortality occurs among the young. First, let's start with this one. Winter starvation may claim the lives of 50% of king penguin chicks. Emperor chicks may exp experience a 90% mortality within the first year of life. 
Let's go for the third one. When mortality affects, uh, affects one chick in species producing two offspring of mo moderate size differences, it is usually the small chick that does not survive. Oh no, if, if you were in a very, 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 very cold winter time, you might close and die. Just like penguins. So bye guys, thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and share, and comment down below if you like this video. Please say yes. Bye!